Trump is uh, elected president, and already we have an enemies list. Yay. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Oh, these four years. Buggle up. Omarosa Manigault, who is, yes, a reality star, and yes, now a relevant political player in America. Uh, you think Dennis Rodman won't come in at some point? He will. At some point, Rodman will be at the White House or have some sort of meeting and be a relevant character. Kate plus eight, I, you know, the Duggars. You think the Duggars won't be at the White House? Duck Dynasty? No, the Kardashians, we've lost our minds, man. The whole thing's been turned into a reality show. Anyway, so uh, now Omarosa, being a relevant person in world affairs, says, uh, it's so great our enemies are making themselves clear so that when we get into the White House, we know where we stand. <coughs> if Graham, referring to Lindsey Graham, who decided not to vote for Donald Trump, felt his interest was with that candidate, God bless him. So Lindsey Graham and John Kasich were two guys uh, who were rare and held to some degree of principle and said, no, we are not going to vote for Donald Trump. Now, to be fair to Donald Trump, they, they all made him sign a pledge saying, hey, whoever wins, remember you have to respect it. But then a couple of them afterwards were like, I'm not signing them. Like, they signed the pledge, but they're like, I'm not honoring the pledge. That was just for if I won, Donald Trump wouldn't run against me as a third-party candidate. If he wins, okay. But on the other hand, uh, look, these are two guys who said the guy's out of control, and I don't want him to be president, even if he's uh, for my party. So a little bit of uh, wrongdoing uh, in terms of a BS promise. I know they're politicians, right? But at least they stood on principle at the end. So congratulations, you're now on Donald Trump's enemies list. Uh, Omarosa continues, I can't believe I'm quoting her. We live in a freaking surreal world. Uh, I would never judge anybody for exercising their right to and the freedom <coughs> to choose who they want. But let me just tell you, Mr. Trump has a long memory, and we're keeping that list. Okay, so, so far the enemies list, and it will grow. Uh, John Kasich, uh, he's a, a Republican governor of Ohio, Lindsey Graham, Republican senator from South Carolina. Paul Ryan? I don't know. Oh, by the way, you know what Paul Ryan did today? So Paul Ryan, Speaker of the House, was non-committal on Trump. One day he'd come out and be like, hey, he's our nominee. What am I going to do? The next day he'd come out and say, his comments are outrageous and unacceptable, and we will not deal with it. The next day he'd say, okay, fine, no, fine, fine. No, I'm getting a lot of grief. I'll vote for him, right? So he went back and forth. Today he's like, oh, we are going big and we are going bold. Uh, Donald Trump always had my support. What, it, there's no factions in the Republican Party. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, Mr. Trump. Yes, Mr. Trump. Yes. Please don't put me on your enemies list. Yeah, bitch. Okay. So, but he probably is on the enemies list. He did not sufficiently support the boss. So, uh, I look forward to being on their enemies list. Uh, but right now, they've just started with Republicans. They'll get to us later. Okay. These are the guys that are now in charge of the country who not only have an enemies list, but brag about it on day one. At least Richard Nixon had the decency to hide his enemies list. Okay. By the way, you want to know a cool fact? You know who was on Richard Nixon's enemies list? Um, Ben's dad, Frank Mankiewicz. Uh, we started the Young Turks, Ben Mankiewicz and myself. Frank Mankiewicz, who uh, was a uh, well-known Democratic figure, boom, right on Richard Nixon's enemies list. Uh, and uh, Ben's grandfather, uh, Herman Mankiewicz, who wrote Citizen Kane, uh, on... Uh, uh, enemies list for the people who were doing the Red Scare. Oh, the communists are coming, etc. I think what made was it McCarthy? 